This is a case of a patient with persistent fetal vasculature. The other eye was found to be normal and checked with fluorescein angiography. Initial paracentesis was made and marked with a marking pen. Viscoelastic was placed to deepen the anterior chamber, which was already shallow. A second paracentesis is made for the infusion. The vitrectomy is used to make a central opening in the anterior capsule, only about three millimeters big, and the rest of the lens is taken with aspiration. You can see here that there are elongated ciliary processes as well as iris vessels. Once the lens is removed, it is found that there is a large membrane posterior to the lens with a lot of prominent vessels. Diathermy is used to coagulate them. The membrane is started to be removed from the periphery. Care is taken not to incise centrally at the beginning as there could be more vasculature there as well as retina. Also, we do not want to rip on the periphery as this can cause traction on the retina. Another option if the membrane had been too thick would be use scissors. The membrane is eventually freed from the superior aspect. More diathermy is used on the vessels as well as on the undersurface of the membrane in case there are more vessels posteriorly. The visual axis is cleared. The retina is expected and is normal. Further posterior vitrectomy is performed and the wounds are sutured with 10 ovicral suture. Viscoelastic is used to help rotate the knots. Subtenon triessence is placed. Viscoelastic is left inside the anterior chamber to maintain depth. Subconjunctival antibiotics are used as well as intracameral avastin to prevent membrane growth and bleeding.